we're going to be looking at perimeter and area of irregular polygons. And an irregular polygon is made of straight lines, but the lines are not congruent, not the same. And when we look at perimeter, we're looking at the distance from one corner to the next, all the way around the outside of the shape. When we're looking at area, we're trying to find the information that is within the shape. So today we're going to look at these shapes and notice that we have some missing information. And that is key to finding the perimeter. The children need to put their finger at the corner and go around every turn as if they were driving a car and count the number of turns that they make. When they do that, they realize I have some missing information. I have a number missing here, and I also have a number missing on this line right there. How am I going to find that number? Lines are horizontal or vertical in an irregular polygon. This horizontal line has a measurement of 12. My eyes are going to come up and look at the horizontal measurement that I don't have. But I do have some key information on another horizontal line. This horizontal line tells me I have a measurement of 3. If my bottom line is 12 and this horizontal line is 3, I can find the missing measurement by saying 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. And 9 then becomes my missing number at the top. I have a vertical line that's missing. This vertical line is parallel to this other vertical line. My measurement, 5 meters. My measurement here, hmm, well, I have a vertical line of 3. Vertical line of 5 minus a vertical line of 3 tells me that my missing measurement is 2. And that 2 then will fill in what I need there. Alright, let's go back and review. Perimeter is all the way around the outside of my shape. What I want to do then is take this corner and stay as I travel around writing my numbers down. I have a 9 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 12 plus a 5. Have I left out any numbers? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, I've left a number out. I need to go back and check it again. I have a 9 plus a 2 plus a 3. This is the number I left out. We need to count those sides and numbers twice. I have a 3 plus a 12 plus a 5. Always important to do it twice. Let's add them together. 9 and 2 is 11. 11 and 3 is 14. 14 and 3 is 17. 17 and 12, 29. 29 and 5, 34. Let's go the other way and make sure we get the same answer. 5 plus 12 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. 20 plus 3, 23. 23 plus 2, 25. 25 plus 9, 34. My measurement is 34 meters, and that is my perimeter. We don't call this meter square. We've measured it around the outside. This same shape we can find the area of, and there are a couple of ways to do it. Now that we know that our measurement is 9, I'm going to fill it in right there. And we know that our measurement is 2, so I'm going to add that information in this box as well. To find area, we want to divide it into equal and regular polygons. I can choose to divide it by drawing a dotted line. By doing that, I see that I have a horizontal measurement of 3, a vertical measurement of 3, and I'm going to take 3 times 3 and write it in this space. 3 times 3 is going to be equal to 9. The remaining space that I have in this shape now has a measurement of 9 at the top. Remember, we took this 3 away at the bottom, and I have a measurement on my vertical line of 5. 9 times 5 is going to
going to give me my area of 45. I need to take 45 plus 9 and add those two spaces together. And I will end up with a measurement of 54 meters. When doing area, we use an exponent and we say 54 meters squared.